Afternoon guys, hope you're doing well. Cookie Bomb here coming up with a new different video for you. Now, um, this is something I've just had come from the post. Um, nearly missed a delivery. It was actually with Amazon France. Now, um, it's, of course, it's the one terabyte SSD NVMe expansion card. Now, nice little piece of kit this is. Um, the reason I got it from Amazon France, just to give you an idea, you can actually get this for £192 um, converted. Um, it takes a few more days to get shipped of course um, I think I ordered it on Sunday and it's arrived today on Friday so there it is uh, one terabyte it's one of these things you probably all think about purchasing um, the reason I went for it is um, I'm obviously already run out of storage um, I'm a big advocate of the game pass there's so much on there which I really enjoy playing um, so yeah I just want to show you really how this uh, how this thing like sort of plugs in and um, I'm excited to see myself really. Um, but obviously I want to give you guys a little bit of a demo. So I just need to actually shove this thing in. It just goes around the back. Now already I would say that around the back setup. Yeah, it's clicked in. Oh, there it is. I missed it. But yeah. Um, It'd be nice to have it around the front because it's one of these things you can hot swap it. So I plugged it in and straight away my Xbox didn't ping up anything. Oh, I need to go to my storage. Um, storage devices. Uh, right, so I've got my normal external on there and there it is okay 919.9 gigabytes there's like the point one gigabyte um has been already taken up um uh, nothing on there at the moment of course but yeah what i'm gonna do um so i'm interested in see how quickly this thing can actually transfer from the internal to obviously this nvme chip card so basically let me just move something. Um, I'm going to go something slightly smaller to begin with. Because I don't want this video to be taking up too much of your time. Because it's just a bit of a demo really of what, you, what you'll what you experience when you buy one of these. Um, and that's the thing. I was probably going to hold off on these for quite some time. I was thinking one terabyte, nowhere near enough. Um, and, you know, £220 really if you buy it on bike from most places in the UK um, is a lot of money just for what that one terabyte and obviously you're only getting 919.9 so not loads um, you know you could probably fill that up with whew, nine you know big big games coming out over the next year really um, but yeah that's the good thing you can swap and you know shop chop and change these basically um, you can buy more of them you can preload them with all the games on you have to obviously keep ro keep them rotated if you are buying more than one. Um, so your games are getting all the updates. Let's just move this. Okay, so basically, um, there's my options. I've only got a small external on that one. Um, but let's just see how quickly this takes to move. So it's, um, yeah, it's already picking up some speed. See, I wasn't sure how the, how long this was going to take. I didn't know whether it would be... I've seen some videos where it's quite sped up, but that's one minute for... Yeah, it's actually getting a bit quicker anyway. So it's just over a, a minute and a half, I guess, the whole thing. Um, as you can see, it is speeding up actually quite a bit. But yeah, basically, you know, you can fill this thing up in about 15 minutes probably. Um, just moving stuff from your internal now as I would recommend it to anyone um, because it's I got it for 192 um, I don't see this thing probably dropping below 150 for a while um, and with that in mind there's some big games coming up this year so for myself I'm looking at the um, flight simulator of course which it's going to come out, I think it's in August, and I know that's going to be a big game. There's the new Halo, of course. Um, I've preloaded a uh, game on there from 
it's come come to the game pass the show 21 um obviously that's going to take some more storage and i only had 18 gigabytes remaining and i'm swapping quite a bit at the moment um between that external and the internal and it takes so long just to transfer and that um wasn't too bad you know i mean i'm just talking you through it and it's done it um and that was just fifa basically so quite a small game i mean i want to move the uh uh, the almighty Call of Duty on there because that's oh, that's a massive game. But yeah, anyway, guys. So that's what the vid the video was all about. Just to give you a demo of how it works. Um, I'm gonna keep at this basically. Just keep moving a few things. Um, and the good thing is as well, you know, um, you can take it around to your friends' house. You can preload all these games on, um, and just shove it into the back of their Xbox Series S or X, and you're away. You know, they've got part of your game collection um, and you can play it together, of course. And all that kind of thing, um, in my eyes, it makes this a real, you know, a game changer, really, at the moment between the PS5 and the Series X or S. You know, um, the fact that they've got given you this option, I think Microsoft have done a great job with it. Obviously, it's expensive. I know a lot of people are making their choice right now whether to spend that sort of money on a one terabyte card, but in my eyes, one terabyte, um, I needed it basically. I needed it, I really did, because um, it's getting frustrating just moving stuff from that external to the internal and back again. And you know, you, you want the speed of thing, you know, you want to enjoy uh, the technology you've got. And yeah, great addition, I'd highly recommend it. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll see you on the next one. All the best, yeah.